Alright guys, so now that we have the username, we're going to want a way to connect with Instagram really easy so we can get information from it at any time in any kind of way. So instead of having to write this in every single function, let's just go ahead and make one function right here to connect with Instagram and then we'll be done with it and as you guys will see later, it's really actually incredibly simple that way. So the function, I'm just going to name it connect to Instagram. And the only parameter it's going to take is URL. So basically, you're going to give it a URL like this. Basically ask it, what do you want it to do? Why do you want to connect with it? What information do you want? That's all going to be in the URL. And then it's going to return back all the information you want. Really simple. So right now, I'm going to make another curl. Initialize another curl object. I'm going to make all the basic settings and they're actually a little bit different than here, the way we communicate it uh, with here on out. And then actually, let's put, should probably put that. So this is how we're going to be communicating with uh, Instagram from here on out. Curl, set opt, array, All right, so what this does right here is it pretty much sets a bunch of options for your array. Now, the first parameter it takes is that curl object, which is ch, and the second parameter is the array, and these are gonna be our settings from here on out, and it's actually uh, really easy. So the first thing is curl, opt, and I guess I'll do it this way. For the URL, We'll just put in this URL and we're actually going to want to make four different settings. So let me just and I'm gonna make sure to get rid of your comment at the end. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set the URL. Where do we want to talk to? The second one is the return transfer and just go ahead and set this equal to true. And what this is going to do, remember, is it's going to return the results if successful. So, you know, pretty easy there. The second to last one, or the third one, as some people say, is the SSL verify peer. I don't know why they have verify peer is one word. It's not like it's a compound word. And we'll just set this equal to false. And the last setting that we need is verify host. And we'll set this equal to two. I know that's kind of weird. But basically, what two means is we won't verify a host. Why they had it as two, I don't really know. I thought it was a good idea. Now, the result equals too lazy to even type like one word. I guess I won't have to copy two letters. All right, so the result is pretty much when this executes and all of the information is stored in a result. And also, remember I said that it was a good idea to close it. Remember we got that error last time because we didn't throw the object in there. And after you close it, of course, you probably want to return something. So we will return the result. So basically what's going to happen is we built a simple and effective way of communicating with Instagram so we never have to write this crap again. So basically anytime we want to communicate we just run this, give it the URL and it grabs all the data and gives it back to us really easy. So actually that's probably good for this tutorial. In the next video I want to show you guys um, another function and it's definitely necessary and a lot of people also get very confused about it sometimes. So I'm going to be clearing things up and it's only like five or six lines but um, yeah I'll talk you guys through and uh, well that's it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.